hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be reviewing another honda sure i must say these hondas are really keeping me very fit if you haven't guessed it already it's another honda fit we are reviewing today but this time it's a different one so if you look at the bottom here you'll see the number plate is blue but that's not what tells you anything it's the badge on top here it is blue which indicates that this is a hybrid model now the previous uh, car i did review was also a hybrid well not not the previous video but the previous hybrid was a toyota corolla cross xr and that costed 448,000. Now this one here is a bit more expensive at 484,000. But with the fuel price increasing, you need to see what the fuel efficiency on this car is. So is this Honda Fit worth it to buy? Let's find out in this video. If you guys have any questions or comments about videos I've done previously or any cars you want me to review, any comments in general, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram, you can DM me. Here's my Instagram handle. Let's start off with the exterior. It's, it's a stunning white color and I have done two Honda Fit, previ uh, Honda Fit previously where I've done a, um, an extensive review of the exterior so you can look at th those videos but here I'll just give you a quick all-around view it's not going to be anything detailed okay here on the side we have uh, silver we have silver side mirrors and not body color and if you come here you can look at the silver trim at the bottom it looks really classy you've also got the smart entry and smart lock if you come here around the back you can see that it's a uh, it's a E8, they call it a EHEV model. So this is the hybrid. So if we have a look at the boot of this hatchback, it is 309 liters. It's a, it's decent size. Yeah, it's not for a huge family, but it'll do the job for, you know, if you're single with a couple, grocery shopping, it does the job. And then here again, the petrol cap is very easy to use. And at the bottom here, we've got 16 inch alloy wheels. So now we're inside the car and believe it or not, the car is on. It's on EV mode. It is a hybrid. So that's why you cannot hear the engine running. In fact, this uh, Honda can actually switch off the petrol engine entirely. So it's completely silent. So since this is a hybrid car, what I've decided to do in this video is compare it not to the previous models, not to the Elegance and the Executive, which I have uh, reviewed in the foot already, but I'm going to compare it to the previous hybrid, which I've done. And that was the Corolla, Corolla Cross the Toyota Corolla Cross XR model. Um, now I have mentioned the price, the Corolla Cross is 448 and this one here is 484. Um, in fact, before the Corolla Cross came out, this was the cheapest hybrid uh, in the market, but it has got beaten now. But um, don't let that put you off this car. It's absolutely amazing and you need to see why. Yeah, so, so that was basically my reasons why I'm going to be comparing to the Corolla Cross. So let's get right into it. Okay, so so the biggest, most obvious difference between the two is one is the SUV, the Corolla Cross, and this one here is a hatchback. So with the SUV, you will have, you know, your interior will be bigger. You'll have a bigger boot. You'll get ground better ground clearance. And then in, the, in this Honda Fit, it is more compact. Uh, so it is more compact, but yet inside it's very comfortable. As you can see, it's it's not uh, it's not small. So as you can see, you got a good head clearance. I am 1.64, so it does go quite high up. And also, this car being small, it is easier to maneuver around in traffic. You can get a sneak preview of my um, of my fuel efficiency, which is at 4.8. Okay, so here you can look at the steering wheel. We have a fully leather steering wheel. It's very comfortable. You've got your a nice mix between white and black buttons so and you, you can see the additional buttons here we've got the adaptive cruise control you got lane keep assist and then here's a dashboard it looks you can see it looks quite neat it's um, there's a sneak preview of the if you didn't see it uh, there was a sneak preview of the fuel consumption we'll chat about it later uh, here we've got the nine inch infotainment system and if you saw in the previous video i have showed you that you can upload different pictures and you can change the this um you can change the display which is quite cool and then you got your normal you got single zone uh, climate control you got your usb outlet uh, you got your usbs fast charge and normal you got your 12 volt yeah and it's also powered by cvt so so the engine in this car is a 1.5 and that's also another difference between this one and the toyota corolla cross which is a 1.8 so on the cross you could probably get between depending on how you drive you can get between 400 to 600 kilometers on the tank uh, and that has a 37 liter tank and then this car has a 40 liter tank and here you can get you could you could get 700 you might even be able to get 800 if you're cruising nicely on the long road but definitely between 600 and, and eight, 600 and 800 kilometers on the tank and that's really phenomenal okay guys let's take this car on the road and see how it drives i'm already driving if you haven't know oh yeah you can see everything moving behind me but if you close your eyes would you have known that i'm moving so in this uh, in this Honda Fit hybrid when the car is on ev mode it makes i'm not sure if you guys can hear it through the through the audio but it makes some kind of a 
music or melody sound which is which is which is different to the Corolla Cross which is absolutely silent when you drive and I mean this is fine it's not like it irritates you or anything so there's been a lot of talk about you know road noise in a hybrid car so the the only noise you, you hear mostly here is like they okay now did you hear that that's when the when the engine kicks in so it goes out of EV mode so we are going up a bit of a hill so that that's the reason why it kicked in otherwise it would have been on EV mode so there it's back on EV mode again um, the car is really really responsive for a hybrid car when you put your foot down it moves immediately so it's not like it needs to think it's like if you are putting your foot down and you're going into there let me press a bit now see it moves straight away so and I am driving on eco mode and it's still quite responsive so that's a good thing because uh, a lot of people say that you know um, they would choose a, uh, a non-hybrid car as opposed to a hybrid for extra power but if that's the only thing you want it, it's not like this car is not powerful but if you if you want extra power you are sacrificing fuel efficiency but if you if you want fuel efficiency and power then this is a good choice if you are in the market to purchase a car with the petrol price increasing the way it is now a hybrid car would be a good option to consider okay guys so i'm going to end off the video by showing you how the lane keep assist works and also speak to you about the adaptive cruise control so here yeah, what i'm doing is i'm using adaptive cruise control as well as the lane keep assist function so you can see my hands are off the steering wheel and it's actually reading the lanes where i am so it actually centers me in the lane and you can't do this indefinitely because after a few seconds the there's a red light that flashes and stays steering required and then after a few more seconds it just beeps a loud noise and you actually have to put your hands on the wheel so you'll actually see here uh, when over there now when i'm touching the steering wheel i'm just uh, touching it to, to give it my presence and then i can let go again and then it uh, centers me in the lane so and then when i press the button there i'm actually adjusting you can adjust your speed on the steering wheel and also the adaptive cruise control what you can do is set the following distance to how you like it and then it will just uh, you know brake automatically as you approach your car and then as when the car goes away then it will accelerate if you look carefully you would actually see the steering wheel turning on its own so guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and gained some value from it and i'll see you guys in the next video